Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome to my photography and hiking channel. For our six night stay in Exmoor, I chose the camp at Cloud Farm, which is owned by the National Trust and located in the Dune Valley region amidst stunning landscapes. They offer pitches for tents, camper vans and motor homes, as well as camping pods, but cannot accommodate caravans according to their website. I will put a link to the campsite down below in the description. Cloud Farm is a delightful location right by Badgeworthy Water where you can enjoy wildlife spotting as well as walking through the stunning views on the border between Somerset and Devon using one of the many marked walking trails right from the campsite or if like me I already had my trip planned out before I arrived. You'll also find an indoor washing up area, toilets and a shower trailer on site. An on-site shop sells basic food supplies and camping essentials and if you don't fancy cooking and check out their breakfast selection in the shop or pop down to the National Trust Buttery Tea Room at Malmsmead. Their helpful staff will give you any information you ask. This campsite is a sanctuary for those seeking peace and serenity and escape from the chaos of modern life, quite literally as I had no phone signal either. I'm on O2 so I can't speak for other networks. Exmoor is a beautiful place and our time here is nowhere near long enough to take in all its beauty. So follow along with us as we visit some of Exmoor's stunning locations. Winsford is a picturesque village located about five miles northwest of Dolphleton. It is within the borders of the Exmoor National Park and around 10 miles southwest of the coastal town of Minehead. The village has one hotel, the Royal Oak, dating to before the start of the 16th century, one shop and post office, there is also a tea garden. The parish church is dedicated to St Mary Magdalene and was partly restored in 1858. Allaford is a lovely little village and one of its main attractions is the much photographed Packhorse Bridge. Built as a crossing over the River Alla, from which the village gets its name, it is thought to be a medieval in origin. The Packhorse Bridge is an ancient monument and has been added to the Heritage at Risk Register. Allaford New Bridge, which carries the A39 road past the village, is also a scheduled ancient monument in Grade 2 listed. It is also on the Heritage at Risk Register because of the risks of vehicle damage and erosion. Other traditional sites in the village include thatched cottages, a forge and an old-fashioned red telephone box. One of the thatched cottages operated as the local primary school between 1821 and 1981 and is now a museum containing the West Somerset Rural Life Museum and Victorian School. The museum houses the West Somerset Photographic Archive. Selworthy is a small village around three miles from Minehead. It is located in the National Trust's Holney Cold Estate on the northern fringes of Exmoor. In 1301, Edward I awarded it to Henry de Pinkenny. It passed down through the family until acquired by marriage by Sir Thomas Ackland in 1802. One of the cottages, known as Periwinkle Cottage, is now an award-winning tea room. Many of the other cottages, whose walls are painted with lime wash, that has been tinted creamy yellow with ochre, some of which are now rented out and are still thatched and are listed buildings. The village and the surrounding Holnicote estate was given to the National Trust in 1944 by Sir Richard Ackland, having been passed down through the Ackland family for nearly 200 years.
If you enjoy watching this video, then please give it a like and why not subscribe to the channel to follow us on more trips. Porlock Weir is a harbour settlement approximately one and a half miles west of the inland village of Porlock. Many cottages date from the 17th century, including the Gibraltar cottages, which have been designated as Grade 2 listed buildings. Like most ports in West Somerset, the harbour is tidal and is home to a small flotilla of boats and is visited by many more in spring and summer. The port has existed for more than a thousand years. The harbour and much of the surrounding area is part of the Porlock Manor estate, which has been linked to the Blathwaite family since 1686, when William Blathwaite, Secretary of State to King William III, married Mary Winter. Orlock has retained much of its medieval charm, including the 13th century church, with its famous truncated spire and many attractive other historic buildings. Porlock sits in a splendid position, surrounded on three sides by the wooded and heather-clad hills of Exmoor and by the Bristol Channel to the north. Porlock has an amazing variety of shops, restaurants and accommodation.
Weber's post was originally constructed in 1897 to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. Situated in the heart of the Holnicote estate, it has a circular trail with panoramic views across the countryside and takes you through the temperate rainforest of Horner Wood. Weber's post is a haven for red deer, Exmoor ponies, bats and the rare heath fritillary butterfly, along with an awesome array of lichens and mosses. During the rutting season you may even be lucky enough to hear roaring stags on the nearby hills. Lookham is a picturesque village nestled in the heart of Exmoor National Park, from its idyllic countryside to its rich history and charming attractions. Immerse yourself in the stunning natural beauty that surrounds Lookham with lush rolling hills, ancient woodlands and breathtaking vistas in every direction. This peaceful retreat is a haven for nature lovers, hikers and wildlife enthusiasts alike. Capture the awe-inspiring landscapes and discover the hidden trails that lead to hidden valleys and bubbling streams. Luckham was one of my favourite villages during my visit.
Robbers Bridge, said to be built in the 1800s, this historic bridge holds an intriguing past. Legend has it that the bridge was a popular spot for highwaymen who would lie in wait for unsuspected travellers. The bridge takes its name from the fact that much of this area was dangerous bandit country in the past centuries. As dusk settles over Exmoor, the bridge exudes an eerie atmosphere, making it a magnet for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters alike. Many have reported encountering strange apparitions and unexplained phenomena, adding to the bridge's mystique. But the history of Robbers Bridge goes beyond its haunting reputation. It was an important trade route, connecting Exmoor to neighbouring areas. Merchants and farmers would travel across the bridge, hoping to reach their destination unscathed. It's said that the robbers would strike under the cover of darkness, vanishing into the dense forests of Exmoor. The bridge, with its rustic charm, saw countless stories of stolen goods and dramatic pursuits. Linton is set amongst the spectacular scenery of an area known as England's Little Switzerland. A small Victorian town with a selection of shops, tea rooms and cafes. The town boasts few buildings of particular note, but the town hall is worth a second glance. That is the strangely named Valley of the Rocks Hotel. The Linen Exmoor Museum is housed in St Vincent's Cottage. It has some interesting exhibitions of Exmoor life, including information about the local lifeboat and the Linton and Barnstable Railway. As we delve into the wonders of Linmouth, you'll witness the picturesque harbour, winding streets surrounded by traditional whitewashed cottages covered in vibrant blooms. Absorb the rich history of this fascinating village as you pass by the Rhenish Tower, a striking reminder of Linmouth's Victorian past, and the famous funicular cliff railway, an engineering marvel that connects Linmouth to its twin village Linton, perched high on the cliff tops. You can also follow the river upstream to the picturesque waters meet.
Unster has over 200 listed buildings. This village is well preserved to maintain its historic charm for future generations. Dunster is home to a variety of historical buildings, including the National Trust's Dunster Castle, an 11th century castle, and the old yarn market located in the middle of the high street. This market was once the hub for Exmoor wool trade.